everyone, welcome to the 2023 5th Annual Nobius Beauty Best in Beauty Awards Show. And in honor of this being the, the 5th anniversary of the awards, uh, this year I took up five different languages. So, welcome to the 2023 Nobius Beauty Best in Beauty Awards. Bienvenidos a los premios de belleza mejor en belleza sin BS del 2023. Bienvenue pour les de la beauté no BS 2023. Raspe kafjo ad no BS beauty al afdal fi Jamal al am alfani thatar shrine. My city 23 no BS beauty best in beauty awards me apka swagat hai. Wan yin lai dao 2023 nian wu fei hua mei rong zui jia mei rong jiang. That's praise. Okay, and off to the first award for the season for the year. And that award is going to be a best skincare bargain product. We all know I love a bargain. I love a splurge, but I love bargains a little bit more. And the nominees for that category are Casa Rex, the 1% Retinol Cream, Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum, and the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus Beta Glucan, because there's three versions now. And the winner for best skincare bargain product is the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow. So congratulations to Geek and Gorgeous with their first award of the season. Uh, you can collect your awards at the end of the evening. On to the next category, which is skincare toner for dry skin. I've got pretty dry skin, especially with winter coming up. So we uh, need a good toner for that and it's easy to add into your routine. So. The nominees for a toner for dry skin are Round Lab Dope Dope Toner, the Thayer's Milky Toner with Snow Mushroom, and the Isn't Tree Vegan Yam Root Milk Toner. And the winner for best toner for dry skin is Isn't Tree Vegan Yam Root Milky Toner. So congratulations to Isn't Tree, their first award of the evening. And the next category is shockingly Favorite toner for oily skin. Who would have saw that one coming? I certainly did. <laughs> okay, the nominees are Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner, the Kane Kombucha Balancing Ampule Toner, and the RNW Shining Toner. And the winner for toner for oily skin is the Kane Kombucha Balancing Ampule Toner. And my dry skin appreciated that one this summer at the humid weather. So. Congratulations to Kane, the first year they've been nominated and they're already a winner with three awards in, so congrats. Next up we've got, ooh, this is my favorite, personal favorite, favorite azelaic acid treatment. And if you're not using azelaic acid in your skincare routine at some point, or at least tried it, you're missing out big time. The nominees are the Dr. Sam's Flawless Neutralizing Gel, which also contains salicylic acid. The Peach Slices Redness Relief Azelaic Acid Treatment and the As Clear 20% Azelaic Acid Cream. And the winner for Best Azelaic Acid Treatment is Peach Slices Redness Relief Azelaic Acid Treatment. I believe this product won an award last year as well. So congratulations to Peach Slices on a job well done. And the next category is, oh, this is a good one. My favorite personal most disappointing product of the year. There's a lot of disappointing products, so uh, I could have had a good gazillion nominees, but I'm gonna keep it short. Okay, so most personal disappointing product. A lot of people enjoy these, but I found these disappointing. The Clinique Moisture Surge Broad Spectrum SPF 28 Sheer Hydrator Moisturizer. I don't even know where to be in my disappointments on that product, but usually starts with SPF 28. Next up, the Round Lab Dope Dope Cleansing Oil and the Tatcha Silk Serum Retinol Alternative, which really was an alternative for retinol or an alternative for anything other than losing about a hundred bucks. And the winner for most disappointing product, I guess our winner yet a loser at the same time. Kind of ironic. And the winner is the Tatcha Silk Serum. You know what, at least the other products wouldn't set you back a hundred bucks, so. Anyway, so in addition to learning the languages, I was determined to lose some weight this year. And by doing that, I took up some new hobbies. And uh, the first hobby I started out with this year was uh, base jumping, which was quite a thrill. So here's some footage of me. Uh, just after a couple tries, I'm already becoming a pro. So check out the footage. 
Congratulations to all the first award winners and the award loser. And uh, base jumping was a thrill, and I can't wait to share with you what else I, uh, hobbies I took up this year. So on to the next award, which is Best Bargain Moisturizer, which I love a bargain, as I've said, and I know you guys love a bargain too. And the nominees are for Bargain Face Moisturizer, the Jin Jin Sung Hybrid Face and Eye Cream, the Hyaluronic Acid, the Hyaluronic Acid Moist Cream by Isn't Tree, which I will say I had in my skincare collection for months, and I didn't use it because of the name Hyaluronic in the title. And so don't judge a book by its cover because I put it off testing it so long, and now it's here. It's to the awards. It's made it national. And the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Barrier Cream. And the winner for Best Bargain Face Cream is... The Jin Jung Sung Hybrid Face and Eye Cream. So you get a bargain, and it's in a huge bottle, and it's a face, and it's an eye cream, and it's a winner. So congratulations to Jin Jung Sung with their first award uh, ever. Next up, we've got Favorite Hydrating Eye Cream. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Right after the face cream comes the eye cream. And the nominees for Favorite Eye Cream Hydrating is... The Beauty of Josen Revive Retinol Eye Cream, which can also be used on the face as well. The Casa Rex Advanced Nail Peptide Eye Cream. And the Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. And the winner for favorite eye cream is the Casa Rex Advanced Nail Peptide Eye Cream. I love that stuff. It's amazing. One of my most repurchased products of all time. Love it. Try it out if you haven't. Okay, next up. The next up in the category is Hydrating Serum. And uh, if you don't have a serum, you're serumless, so you need a serum. And the nominees are the V Green Rishi Barrier Serum. Super light, used it right before the awards, if that might be a hint, I don't know. The Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. And, whoa, this might be the first time this big brand has been nominated. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Rescue Solution Serum with 15% Bifidus Ferment. That's a mouthful. And the winner for favorite hydrating serum is, it's also, I think, the most affordable, is the V Green Rishi Barrier Serum. So congratulations to V Green with their first win of the night. That's huge. And next up, we've got favorite retinol, retinol treatment Retinol, gold standard for anti-aging. So if you don't have retinol and you're aging, which we all are, get with it and pick one of these up. Okay, the nominees are the Good Molecules 1% Retinol Oil, the Gold Bond Overnight Retinol Face and Body Lotion, did not see that one coming, and the Geek and Gorgeous A-Game 10, there's also the A-Game 5, a little less strong. The winner for Best Retinol Product is... Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10 or 5. If you're newer, start with 5. If you're experienced retinol users, go with 10. Congratulations to Geek and Gorgeous, their second win of the night. And the next nominees are for Favorite Face Mist. And I like to mist my face a lot, so we'll see what the nominees are. Claire's Fundamental Ampule Mist. The Niode Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. And, whoa, another nomination for Geek and Gorgeous with their Liquid Hydration Toner, which is now a mist. And the winner is the Niode Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. I love that stuff. It's amazing. I use it every day. Love it. Okay. Sarah, what did you think of that? I almost peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to brag about another talent I have. Uh, kind of a hidden talent. I didn't necessarily learn it this year. I've been practicing my skills on it for quite some time, but uh, car racing, I'm huge into car racing and uh, I can withstand any crash. So here's some clips of me racing and maybe some crashing, a few crashes here and there. So uh, onto that footage. Okay, well, welcome back to the awards. Car racing, so fun. I'm so good at driving fast. I can't drive 55. <laughs> Okay, on to the next award. And, oh, skincare splurge. So if you're looking to shell out a little bit of cash, uh, these are some products that are uh, worthy, at least the board believes are worthy of your splurge. Okay, the nominees are the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Moisturizer, 
the Skin Better Alto Defense Serum, and the Revive Serum Telomerase 6-in-1 Serum. We all know we need to lengthen those telomeres. And the winner for Splurge is the Revive Serum Telomerase 6-in-1 Corrective Serum. And their Ultimate Serum is also wonderful. So check those out. Okay, next category is, oh, favorite sleeping mask. I bet you guys don't see what's coming for the nominees for this one, right? Nobody sees what's coming. Okay, the nominees are the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream, Drunk Elephant Proteiny Dupe. That's about mm, a third of the price. The Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Hmm, no one saw that one coming. Or the Sashu Wee Occlusive Overnight Moisturizer. And the winner is, I'm going to guess you guys already know it. It's the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I love that stuff. Can't be without it ever. Okay, next up. Fermented skincare product. I believe this is a new category this year. There's a lot of great fermented products out there. And uh, ferments are so good for so many reasons for your skin. So it makes sense that they have their own category this year. And the nominees are the Manual Bifida Biome Complex Ampule, the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence, and the Numbuzin Number 3 Skin Softening Serum, which I know a lot of you probably thought it was going to be the number 3 toner, but it's the Skin Softening Serum. And the winner for favorite fermented product is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. The serum version is wonderful as well, so check that out. Okay, next category is, oh, sunscreen for oily skin. So I wonder if you guys can figure out what category is coming after this one. Hmm. Okay. And the nominees for sunscreen for oily skin are Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face Sunscreen SPF 50. Comes in, I think, different tints still. So really nice product. The Beauty of Josen Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. Not their popular probiotic rice sunscreen, it's their newer one. And the La Roche-Posay oil-free UV immune SPF 50 fragrance-free version. And the winner is the La Roche-Posay UV immune SPF 50 fragrance-free version that was new last year. Really wonderful product, never got tanned or burned using it, so check it out. Okay, next up, shockingly, the category is sunscreen for dry skin which I can speak to. And the nominees are Neutrogena Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid Light Sunscreen SPF 30. That's a mineral one. The Round Lab 1025 Dope Dose Sunscreen. And the Numbazin Number One Clear Filter Sun Essence. And the winner for Best Sunscreen for Dry Skin is the Round Lab Dope Dose Sunscreen SPF 50, fragrance-free, no denatured alcohol, super hydrating, five chemical filters, wonderful sunscreen from Round Lab. Um, and also this year, I uh, really did some surfing. I will say previously up until the last year or two, the only time I was on a surfboard was when I was carried off to shore, getting stuck in a, uh, a, a tidal wave, or not a rogue Rip wave, riptide. Rip and anyway, so I just have to be on that surfboard. But now this year, that won't happen again because I'm really becoming an expert surfer. So check out my footage. Okay, welcome back. Those big waves are fun and not joking about being carried out on a surfboard. But anyway, okay. <laughs> on to the next award, which is anti-aging serum. And uh, anyway, be sure to use a sunscreen because if you're going to do all this stuff, there's no point. So... Especially when it's very sunny out. Okay, and the nominees are the Theramid Copper Peptide Serum, the Ebonel Hyaluronic Acid Serum with Peptides, and the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum with Copper Peptides. And the winner is the Theramid Copper Peptide Serum with 3% Copper Peptides. Congratulations, it's the first year they've been nominated. So that's a big win to be nominated and win all together. Okay, next category up is... Oh, Vitamin C serum. So everyone needs their vitamin C. Amazing ingredient, typically in the form of ascorbic acid. And the nominees are the Isentree Hyper C 23 Vitamin C Serum, 
the Bubble Daydream Vitamin C and Niacinamide Tone and Texture Serum, and the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum. And the winner for Favorite Vitamin C Serum is it's the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow. Congratulations. They've already won two awards with that product tonight, so be sure to check them out. Okay, next up we've got Favorite Moisturizer for Dry Skin. And I can speak to that, especially in Minnesota in the middle of the winter when it's freezing, like negative 30 Fahrenheit and like negative 10 humidity. Is that possible? I don't know, but it's certainly dry and cold. So favorite moisturizers are the Stradia Skin Liquid Gold, the Allies of Skin Daily Peptide and Antioxidant Firming Moisturizer, and the Isentree Vegan Yamroot Milk Cream. And the winner for favorite moisturizer for dry skin is, it's the Stradia Skin Liquid Gold. They also came with an eye cream version, which I'm playing with right now. It's amazing. So next up we've got, <laughs> shocking, favorite moisturizer for oily skin. No one saw that one coming, right? Okay. And the nominees are Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel, fragrance free. They just kind of reformulated, spruced it up a bit. The Beauty of Jolson Red Bean Water Gel. I love the smell. It's got, it smells like candy. And the Astera Addo Barrier 365 Hydro Soothing Cream. And the winner for favorite moisturizer for oily skin is it's the Astera Addo Barrier 365 Soothing Cream. Really wonderful gel texture. Doesn't get better than that. So congratulations. And up next, we've got favorite essence of the year. So essences are wonderful. They're super easy to add into your routine. And if you find a good one, it really complements the rest of your routine. The nominees are Mix Soon Bean Essence, the Jinjung Sung Soothing Moisture Essence, and the Jumiso Snail 95 and Peptide Essence. And the winner for favorite essence is it's the Jinjung Sung Soothing Moisture Essence. Amazing. You know what? When I'm lazy and I just want to put one product on, that's the one I go for. And another favorite hidden talent of mine is Heli Skeen. So check out the footage. It's kind of scary, but you know what? I'm brave. So there we go. Check it out. So with Heli Skeen, I don't know what's more fun, the helicopter ride or the skiing part or both. Probably just jumping out of the helicopter is very fun. So uh, anyway, uh, this is the final segment. And I just want to thank my Patreons for all our support this year. Couldn't do anything without you guys. So thank you guys. And on to the next award. Wrapping things up, slowing things down with the best brightening product. And if there's anybody that needs a brightening product, it's me. That's what got me into skincare to begin with was my melasma, which is getting better thanks to some good brightening products. And the nominees are the Allies of Skin Mandelaic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum, the Touch Bright and Clear Cream, and the Regimen Lab Level Serum. And the winner for best brightening product is, it's this year it's the Touch Bright and Clear Cream, but it's just an honor to be nominated. Those three are pro all winner products. And honestly, you can use them all together if you want. You know what, use one one night, one the next night. If you got really bad melasma, the more the merrier. Okay, next up, General All Purpose Face Cleaner. So this would be just, a second step cleanser or morning cleanser, something gentle. And the nominees are the Peach and Lily Power Calm Gel Cleanser, the Dr. Sam's Flawless Gel Cleansing, cleansing gel, which I love because it's in a pump bottle, and the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Gentle Cleanser. And the winner is it's the Peach and Lily Power Calm Cleanser. Really love that. Repurchased it. Actually I repurchased all the ones in that category and they're all wonderful. So anyway, can't go wrong with any of them. Next up, we've got favorite oil-based makeup remover and cleanser. So definitely gonna be using this one tonight or great for washing sunscreen off, things like that. Do a really good cleanse. The nominees are the PSA Skin Reset Acai and Manuka Honey Nourishing Cleanser. That Manuka Honey is amazing. The Isn't Treat Chestnut Jelly Cleansing Oil, which is amazing. And the La Roche-Posay Lipicare AP Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil. And this is probably one of the tougher ones because these are all great. They're all ones I've repurchased. And the winner is 
the La Roche Pose Lipicare AP Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil, which is a new product this year. So, congratulations to La Roche Pose. It's an amazing product. Use it ever. Okay, and coming to the close, we've got two final awards, the two biggest awards of the night. And to the brands nominated, just remember it's an honor to be nominated. It's even better to win, but just be nominated. It's a big friggin' deal. So, congratulations. Okay, this is. No BS favorite product of the year. And this is always a tough one because I could have 30 nominees that are all great, but on to these. Okay, the Casarex Advanced Snail Mucin Cream, the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream, and the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum, which has already won two awards tonight. And the winner for favorite No BS product of the year is it's the Costa X Advanced Snail Mucin Cream. It's just a winner. I've been using it for years. No BS Beauty loves it, loves it, loves it. So if you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. Okay, and finally, the brand of the year for No BS Beauty. And the nominees are Casa Rex, Geek and Gorgeous, and Peach Slices. And the winner for favorite brand of the year is Geek and Gorgeous. So congratulations to Geek and Gorgeous. You're getting the trophy this year. Uh, congratulations. Uh, furthermore, I really just want to thank everybody. Thank my Patreons. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for clicking on the links. Thank you to Cameraman for all the hard work he does. Uh, and I just want to close with one thought. Always wear sunscreen every day day. Thank you so much. See you in 2024. Bye guys.